What's up everyone, welcome to another video and know your eyes do not deceive you. This is Zach checking in again after about two months. Um, as some of you who have been around for a little while know, uh, my son was born back in February and it turns out that having two kids is twice as time consuming as having just the one. So I have been doing nothing but work and uh, taking care of the kids, uh, helping my wife, you know, doing the husband father uh, thing. Um, and just with the whole uh, virus situation going around, um, most people are out of work. I'm, my wife is still on um, maternity leave. I am working seven days a week. Um, kind of sucks, but I'm also blessed to still be able to work. Um, so it kind of helps me keep my sanity. But moving on, I'm back. I finally found a little bit of time to uh, film a quick video. And today I feel like I'm gonna, I feel like it's a good idea to show off my uh, dividend portfolio. It just um, hit, before the market closed today and the market dropped, hit about $1,300. Now, though, for those of you who might be confused, um, at the end of last year, I invested $3,000 into dividend stocks, but once this virus situation started to pick up steam, I sold everything before the market really crashed and just held, I'm holding on to that money. I've got several thousand saved up, ready to go when the market crashes again, which I think will happen this month, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, that with oil prices and just the market in general, 30 million people laid off, which I'm not gonna go deep into because everyone else has done it. I'm just here to show off my portfolio as it is right now. I'm slowly putting money into the market, just little by little, and uh, gonna really push everything in once uh, that crash that I feel is coming does come. So no further ado, let's uh, jump into uh, the portfolio here. All right, so as you can see at the top here is currently $1,220.88, down 2.79% for the day. Um, the NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow Jones are down just about that much for the day because um, the, today the market decided to do something rational and drop, which reflects how the world is right now. So as you can see, overall, all time, I'm up about 4.23%, um, which is good, you know. Uh, so I will, I will take it. Any, any green is uh, good to me. All right, so let's just scroll down. Now, there are a couple of stocks in here that are not dividend stocks, and I'll highlight those whenever we get to them. Um, here I have two shares of uh, Coca-Cola. Um, Coke's one of the stocks that I'm going to be getting into heavily more and more. I love Coke as a company and their products, and it's just a great stock to have. Um, dividend King, one of the most recognizable ones. So and Coke's not going anywhere. Right now, down almost 5%. Um, it had a pretty bad day as well. Uh, just two shares right now. Uh, Pfizer, I have nine shares, um, up 99 cents total. And uh, right before they announced their earnings, I, I had four shares, I bought five more, um, just to kind of see. They had good earnings, um, they beat estimates, but um, just with how the market is, it went up and then it went down again. Next, we have ET Energy Transfer. This is probably one of my favorite dividend stocks right now, anyway, um, just because I, I like the company, I like its balance sheet, and hopefully, hopefully, they're gonna be poised to do really well once this uh, crisis is over. I got seven shares at 574 a share. I'm up $15, 37%. Um, I wish I had bought a lot more now looking back, but what are you gonna do? Um, so far, their um, dividend of I'm not sure how accurate the Robin Hood one is. I want to say it's a little bit less than that, but still remains uh, intact. So hopefully that uh, remains the same here. Enterprise products, which I have um, dividends, uh, I have a payment um, pending on this one, um, down 2.45%. My dividend pending is uh, $2.67. That's just for having six shares. Um, I'm down 54 cents overall. Uh, cost basis of seventeen twenty four per share, so not too bad. The dividend right now is still around ten percent, and it's holding strong. So I'm really excited about this one, and uh, I'll kind of like ET. I'll definitely be buying a lot more uh, here in the future. Uh, now here's the here's uh, one of the ones that does not have a dividend, and it's Aurora Cannabis. Um, one day I kind of got bored. I had a little bit of money in here, and it's like, you know, I really think that I really think that cannabis stocks are are gonna skyrocket here. Uh, Maybe the next, not in the next year or two years, but maybe the next few years, um, once the uh, U.S. government quits uh, messing around. 
I've got 10 shares at a dollar eight. I'm down 31%, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, it was, you know, 10 shares at a dollar eight each. I'm not gonna miss that if it goes belly up. Um, like I said, no dividend, market cap under a billion, but I'm not worried about it. According to Morningstar, they're pretty optimistic that it's gonna have a, a 3X or, or a, a 3X return on that. So we'll see if it happens, it happens. If not, it, it doesn't, and that's okay with me. Uh, MFA Financial. Um, this one, honestly, I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I bought it. Um, probably is the same as the other ones. The cost basis was pretty low. Um, their dividend was appealing. Um, it shows 70.18%. That's not near right, nor was it right. Um, they have cut their dividend um, since all this happened, which, you know, sucks, but it's okay. Um, they Now they are a REIT. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, residential mortgage uh, assets, um, and basically just a whole bunch of residential loans, that kind of thing. Uh, so maybe they'll div their dividend will get back up uh, once all this passes, we'll see. Um, but again, if it goes belly up, kind of like Aurora Cannabis, I'm not too upset about it. Now here's one that I'm, uh, it's a ETF, as you can see. It's a um, high dividend ETF uh, tracking the SP500 and the dividend stocks uh, in the S&P 500. Uh, I really, really like this ETF. I'm gonna be going a lot a lot heavier into it. Um, as you can see, I've got eight shares. Uh, 26, uh, 76 is the cost, uh, average cost. I'm down 0.5% uh, on this one, but the dividend yield is roughly 6%. Um, and of course, that'll be affected by companies in the S&P 500, what they do, but even if a couple of companies cut it, that should be looking pretty good. I, this is the fund that I have in my Roth IRA, and I keep getting pay, dividend payments from that. So, and this uh, in Robinhood is a relatively new buy, but I think it's going to be a great way to uh, a great cheap entry way to uh, get a high get a high uh, yield. Now here's the uh, you see it, you know what it is, um, the Vanguard S and P 500 ETF. Like I said, down 2.73% for the day. Uh, right now, I just have one share, but I'm still up 3% um, on this one. Uh, as, Like I said, I'm still waiting for the market to drop before I get into any funds. Um, for three months, three months uh, past, they're still down 12.5%. Um, like I said, I feel like the another crash is coming, and I will be ready to go in more into that. Uh, AT&T, another strong dividend, uh, dividend stock that I really enjoy. Now the, I'll, I'll be frank, AT&T is a company, I hate AT&T as a company. Um, my cellular service for most of my life has been through AT&T, been nothing but problems, horrible customer service, in my experience anyway. And because of that, I was hesitant to even buy AT&T stock, but that dividend yield of uh, over 6%, 6.8 is uh, so pretty. And right now I'm down 0.89%, which isn't too bad. And as you can see here, I'm gonna do another video on this whenever it posts, but I have uh, my dividends in uh, Robinhood set to automatically be reinvested. As you can see, I got 52 cents for owning the one share. Um, the dividend reinvestment is pending. I got paid out this today, so it'll probably uh, happen on Monday if I had to take a guess. And I'm curious to see how it's gonna work. And instead of owning one share, am I gonna own like 1.01 or something, you know, something like that. So I'm curious to see how that works, and uh, I'll probably make a video when it happens. And this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one, Kraft Foods. Um, Kraft Foods has, of course, been beaten into the dirt lately. Uh, well, not lately, over like the past year since they went public, uh, even before that. Um, have three shares at twenty-eight forty-six per share. I'm up 3.23%. They have had two really good quarters since all this happened. Um, now they've now they're they've beaten uh, uh, earnings estimates uh, the last uh, five quarters, so they're doing really well. Um, the new they got a new CEO recently, who I believe new CEO, and hopefully he can kind of pick things up a bit. Uh, Morningstar has them favored to be uh, almost fifty dollars a share. Hopefully that stands true, and their dividend of almost six percent is very appealing. And everyone stockpiling on foods uh, for all this has really helped them in their sales. So. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that trend uh, continues. All right, so that is my dividend portfolio right now. And got this video done in under 10 minutes. So 
If you like this video, like and subscribe. I am trying to spend more time at home with the family. Uh, we're planning on maybe, maybe moving sometime soon. Uh, so any help that uh, you can give out the channel would be wonderful. Um, if you have any uh, questions or comments or if you want to share your portfolio and how you're feeling about the market, please feel free to leave uh, something in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next video.